What up, big kids? Sean Long here, and it's a time for another long and uncut review. This time of the Dragon Ball Z SH figure. It's great, say it, man! Action figure from Tamashii Nations Bandai Japan. I picked up this guy through the Bluefin Tamashii Nations booth at WonderCon, which I was so excited because even though it's now in stock at Big Bad Toy Store and you can get yours right now at Big Bad Toy Store, click the link for so much more. And this guy is actually my one of the most sought after uh, Dragon Ball Z characters in his SH figure arts form. I'm so excited for this guy. Uh, when I made that top 10 most wanted Dragon Ball Z characters in SH figure arts form, he would have been number one, but then they announced them. So I was so happy, so happy. And for 63 bucks uh, with tax, uh, this guy comes with quite a bit. Uh, I'm so excited to show him off. And I love Gohan as Great Saiyan Man. Uh, actually, the Great Saiyan Man saga is what I watched for, um, after many years of not watching Dragon Ball Z, thanks to my buddy Big Train 07. And he got me back into Dragon Ball from that saga and then the Boo saga and rewatching everything from the Frieza saga and Cell saga. And then I love Dragon Ball Super. And I really love Gohan as the Great Saiyan Man. I really wanted to see more of a focus on Gohan, like fighting crime as the Great Saiyan Man with his family, like with Fidel and Pan. I would see a whole spin off of that, and we can still have Goku and Vegeta and, you know, the whole Saiyan thing. But it's cool since uh, Gohan is a hybrid to really see, like, him being, like, you know, with his superpowers fighting crime. I, I would love that. That would have been a great new take, you know, because I love Sailor Moon and that was very much a superhero crime fighting thing. And I would love to see that. Um, you know, so hopefully maybe one day Toriyama Ariami would be, um, uh, make that happen. But till then we'll have, Gohan has been sidelined, but he has some great moments in Dragon Ball Super, especially in the Tournament Power Saga, but yeah, so here we got a nice picture of the Great Saiyan Man, and then Super Saiyan Gohan, we got all the different heads, uh, the quality control sticker, Dragon Ball Z, Great Saiyan Man, love that pose, that's how I'll be displaying him, uh, super modeling, super style, heroic action, super action, love the poses in here. Warning, you want to choke on your Great Saiyan Man, because you'll have a great time, choke out your justice, so... Let's open up the figure. So excited for this guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you can see tons of things you get with him, including poseable hands and oh, so many awesome things. So, all right. Let's take out the, let's start with the figure and then go on the accessories. So we got a little plastic cape uh, protector thing right here. And it comes with quite a bit, but yeah, the figure came out great. Oh man, this is, until I get Super Boo or the Broly and all that, which is coming out soon, um, this is probably my favorite Dragon Ball figure arts figure of the year, hands down. But you know, we still got, you know, quite a, quite a while ago back, and his cape just fell off. Now one thing, well, let's look at the cape first, <laughs> and it's many different pieces. Um, it's not like uh, the other case where it's like all the different, like um, Boo's cape or I was in three different spots. Um, I would like to wire cape, but um, and then my buddy Daredevil 19's girlfriend is making uh, custom uh, um, capes. So check out Daredevil 19's channel for more. They the, His girlfriend does awesome custom capes for pic, SH Figure Arts Piccolo and uh, Figure Arts Batman and so many others. So. Yeah, you can see here, you can take off the cape and you can see the holes for it. I'll put on the cape here in a second. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, so excited. So this is the helmeted look for Great Saiyan Man. And he actually has like, um, you know, oops, sorry. He actually has two different helmet looks. And I love the silver on the antennae. It really gives like a cool like old school Ant-Man vibe. I really like that a lot. And the green gi with the nice gold emblem on the belt. I love the white gloves. And he has the watch where the Bulma made for him for his costume come out with a nice blue and silver. I really like that a lot. Yeah, it looks really good. And then he has that uh, black pants and he has the uh, 
uh, you know, sand boots with like the the little toe, yellow toes and everything. And yeah, this guy just looks so great. I'm so excited for him. And Great Sandman is meant for like posing and stuff like that, you know. You can do so many cool poses with him. And I'll do it in a moment uh, once we look at it. But yeah, let's look at, um, uh, before we get into accessories, we'll look into articulation. So yeah, the head can look up that much, it can look down that much, pretty good. A nice head pivot rotates and the neck rotates on this uh, joint, so really good. He, uh, the gi, the little shoulder parts uh, move uh, and he has that butterfly joint which looks good and you can move this like back with it so yeah not bad uh, gabbage you know there is some gabbage but it's not too bad you just you can move this around it's on the shoulder joint so fully rotates goes in and out that way while the butterfly joint rotates at the bicep bends at two points at the elbow uh, that much so it's a little over 90 degrees um, rotate at the wrist go in and out uh, rotate at the diaphragm right here and goes forward and back and side to side and he has the full waist articulation that kind of goes forward and back. The, the gi is a nice pliable plastic so you can move the legs forward and back. You can actually think yeah it pulled out and it has the joints there so you can I believe yeah do the splits rotate the other part leg then at two points at the knee and the knees look great. Um, ankles can pivot forward and back uh, and fully rotate and he has the ankle pivot side to side and toe articulation so great SH figures articulation especially for doing your great Sandman poses which I'll do here in a moment um, I'll get like I'll, I'll, put, I'll start posing him in that but yeah let's oh yeah also the cape it will rotate on the back here so you can position it oh yeah and he well, I'll get to that in a second, but let's put the cape on here so you can peg everything. Oh, I think, can you peg this? Oh no, it just stays like right there, so. Yeah, so I guess you just kind of, I don't think it's like magnetized or anything, but yeah, you just kind of place this over here. So yeah, the cape can go in and out and rotate, but you kind of, um, the way it works, it won't fully rotate. So it's not as like as articulated as like the, boo cape or whatnot but or uh other uh figures we got from sh figures with capes but still really cool i love that this part's rubbery um for it too and the cape doesn't weigh down too much too which is nice because i'm not a big fan of plastic capes uh but you know it does work for for great salmon so yeah so let's get him stand here on the side while we look at his other accessories. So, uh, does have the extra antenna. This is in case you break it. I don't think these antenna are different at all. Yeah, they're just the silver and you can take them off right and left. So that's really cool. Um, he does come with an interchangeable um, left forearm uh, if you don't want to do the watch. Uh, I definitely will keep the watch on, but it's cool if you choose not to. So you just remove it from the joint right there and then, you know, place on there. So that's very cool. He comes with quite a bit of hands. He comes with the open palm hands. He comes with the, um, yeah, many different poses like, you know, karate chop hands and many different ones and some gripping hands. And of course he comes with the fists. So I'll exchange that, but they're just all white, all right, all white. You know, so very cool so yeah pretty nice and then uh, before we get into the extra heads he comes with um, an extra um, lower mouth for his helmet head and oh, oh yeah by the way he also comes with uh, this piece which you can put on the back of him when you don't want the cape so it fills in that um, take it off here so you can place this in here so that way it fills in that gap. So that's really cool. So if you want to just have him as a Super Saiyan Gohan without the cape and stuff, but I like the cape. I'm a fan of capes, what can I say? But um, yeah, before we get into that, let's drill off all the heads. So we'll take off this head real quick here. 
and let's remove the lower jaw or lower part. Oh yeah, he does also come just like every SHP guard sphere. I forgot to show it with detailed instructions. So very awesome. It shows you um, all the different hands and put on the helmet, the different forearms and for the cape. So that's cool. Thank you for having that. It's always nice to have instructions. Okay, and then so let's remove that lower part. You can see like the, the joint right here. It's a hinge ball joint, double uh, ball joint. Yeah, and then take this out here. Remove that. But yeah, I really love a Gohan is great same and I can't stress that enough. I think it's very underrated. Yeah, he's corny and can seem lame, but I don't know. I have oh yeah, oh cool. So you actually remove this part and then remove that. So okay, there we go. It comes in three pieces, so so now put in um oh wow, hold on. It's so cool how this kind of works actually. Oh, okay, so put in this piece. So I guess, yeah, you would put in this piece first, the front. You can see the holes and the tabs right here. You just place that in there. You got the great salmon. So I actually like that a lot. Then you close that and then there you go. Then you can have like the open man, great salmon. I, I like that. I kind of like the open mouth one a little bit better than the, the stern one. I don't know. So that's really cool. But uh, you can do um, also, if you remember before Gohan got the cool helmet, he had the really cool do rag <laughs> uh, sunglass look. Which, until I figure out a way to get a helmet, I'm planning to, to cosplay the great same man when I meet Kyle Herbert, the. Um, voice of Gohan and Ryu from Street Fighter at Sack Amy this June. So I definitely can at least do this look. It's very easy to white do rag and sunglasses. So of course you just move the head and you can have the great Saiyan man like that. Very cool. And we have also when he's not helmet a, a Gohan unmask looking very stern. They don't have interchangeable faces, but considering we are getting like four different heads and one of the heads has interchangeable faces, you know, can't really complain there. You still get quite a bit. And this one you have to be a little bit careful because yeah, the spiky hair, Gohan's hair makes it a little tough to um, pose, but yeah, you can do the non um, unmasked Gohan. I love the little bang right here. It looks very cool. And last but not least, if people are getting it, and you can also put this on your adult Gohan, which I don't have, uh, unless you count the Dragon Figure Right or the Dragon Stars one. Sorry, there's so many different lines. You got the Super Saiyan Gohan head, which looks awesome. Or I'd say Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. It looks a little bit more Super Saiyan 2, but yeah. But I love that, the blue eyes. It looks cool. I can see people just taking this figure, or if they have the the ultimate Gohan uh, taking this head and putting it on there so you could just get our Super Saiyan adult Gohan ah and it's super spiky but yeah really nice hair show off these hair like super spiky oh my god see all the spikes right there very awesome but even though I love these heads well I'm gonna keep I didn't get a Gohan figure. I mean, technically, yeah, it is a Gohan figure, but I got a Great Saiyan Man figure. So I'm gonna keep it as the Great Saiyan Man because I like that look. And I want to display him as the Great Saiyan Man. So yeah, but if I'm down the line, which I still need to because I want to get the SH Figure Arts Ultimate Gohan that I missed out on, I'll definitely uh, get that, so. Okay, let me put this back on here and then we'll do size comparison and then do a final pose while I do my final thoughts, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, that's a, a good pose right there too for uh, if you know that little gif and stuff like that. Great salmon! 
<laughs> okay, yeah, I just love him. Okay, so here, let's um, measure him out real quick here, and we'll, we'll change out the heads here. I mean, not the heads, we'll change out the um, um, hands in a moment. But let's do a size, com size comparison time after we measure him out. So for size, uh, Gohan is uh, about the yeah, a little over six inches tall if you count the um, antenna. And a size size comparison time, um, I got a couple of Gohans to compare it to you. We got the Dragon Stars uh, Gohan, so his hair makes him really tall. Um, and then we got the Teen Gohan, uh, the um, a uh, bow damage one, like when he's at the end finding Cell. I know people prefer this Gohan. I love both Gohans, you know, they're, you know, still love them. And then compare him to uh, Shazam, since his movie's out, and you can see he is shorter than him, but he is taller than the Marvel Legends Captain Marvel, so. Yeah, very awesome. Yeah, uh, I think it works well. Uh, I know, I think Gohan is not the tallest character, so it works. Um, I don't think he's as short as Vegeta, but yeah, he's, you know, he's in between like Goku and, and Vegeta, so very awesome. I love the figure. It's, it's so much fun. I mean, this character, I mean, Gohan as the great Saiyan man, until we get a Captain Ginyu, is meant to do dynamic poses, so... Let's uh, do one, and two. but 63 bucks. Um, yeah, here, let me get those hands for, um, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, this, these hands. So we're gonna do the pose that's right there. So we'll do that, do, yeah, it's really fun. And then exchange the hands, but really, I, I did Gohan's like posing. I like that he, becomes like a superhero um, in Dragon Ball Z uh, when he's not like fighting, you know, in the tournament of power or whatnot. Oh yeah, let's put on this hand right here. Oop. But I, I really like the great Saiyan man. I would watch a show on him any day. Uh, just change out the hands a little tricky, or at least with these ones. Hold on, let me do it off camera real quick. Those hinges. Okay, cool. Don't worry, it's not as bad as, as I make it out to be. It's just it's hard to do it from that angle. Let me put on this hands real quick here. Ugh. Okay, cool. Let me do the, the posing right here. Alright. But yeah, I I think Gohan as the great same man really warrants um, fun poses. Yeah, I this this guy I, I I can just see posing and all his different great same man poses. Yeah, it, it's just so much fun and oop and he just lost the hand. Oh great say one hand man <laughs> Yeah, but no. I love the hands you get with him. Yeah, so of course uh just like any posing you just have to get it right. I'm doing this like real quick on camera make a long and cut review like even longer but yeah yeah that's pretty much it right there yeah just the stance and <laughs> oh I love it I love it I... yeah that that works out great I love it so yeah you guys I love this figure so much all, I love all the different heads Great posability because you have to have it for the great Saiyan man. You just love the look. It, totally, I love Gohan. I love him as the great Saiyan man. So, this is definitely one of my favorites now in the SH Figure Arts line. This figure does not disappoint. I wish it w did have a cloth cape, but besides that, I, I'm still very happy with it. And maybe these things could, you know, figure out to stay better, but you kind of just place them on there. But very minor gripes and stuff still very happy 
<laughs> I just love that I can create those poses. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Okay, sorry, I'm being like very meticulous about that pose, but yeah. Okay, and I'll... <laughs> that is awesome. Great salmon! But yeah, totally recommend this guy. Pick him up right now at BigBadToyStore.com. He just got in stock. Um, even if you're not a big fan of Great Same Man, it sets a fun figure, figure the pose. Um, you can use it with your Ultimate Gohan. And I totally recommend this guy. He is so much fun. And yeah, they, all the heads are really great. I I think they did a great job. And I can't wait for the, uh, the yeah. He's just awesome. I hope we do get a Videl figure and give her, like, you know, rolling her eyes. I think that would be so great. But yeah, definitely recommend this guy. Uh, pick him up right now at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description. For justice for your action figures, the Great Saiyan Man says to go there. And also the Great Saiyan Man says support this review by Sean Long by going to his Patreon at patreon.com. Where's that Sean X Long? It's full of justice. <laughs> yes. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great rest of the weekend. Stay tuned for more great reviews coming out from me. And I check out my website at seanlongslong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long with the great same man saying, live long and love life.